Hey everyone, welcome back to the Snake Chamber, and we got a guest today. My son Jeremy. Hola. My very, the intro. My very weird brother. Very weird brother. Yes. The intro. Jeremy's not going to be in the video too much. He's just going to sort of pop in whenever he feels like. But since the last... He does what he wants. Since the last episode two weeks ago, there's been uh, a couple few things that have happened. All three uh, clutches are out of their egg now. Uh, they're all hatched. They're all good. So we're going to go through that with you. Hey, hand, hey, hand. Hey, hey. So like you said, we got the three clutches. And each of us, myself, Charlie, and Jeremy over here, He's nope. choosing to stay off camera. He's holding Mizzy, one of the original OGs. She's the first one. We got Mizzy for Jeremy when he was 10. He's 23 now. So yeah, he's she's old. the OG of the class. She's actually 63. Uh, I feel like it. <laughs> so anyways, we're going to go through the clutch. Clutch one, we're all going to choose a favorite, show it off, uh, let you guys see it. And clutch two, same thing. Clutch three, same thing. He doesn't want to be on camera much, so we'll just turn it like that. <laughs> and what are you talking about a sec who you got around your neck here? I got Bruce. That's trying to choke Yeah. Bruce was actually our second snake, a rescue found on a front lawn uh, in a neighboring town to us. We got a call from a friend saying there's a snake. And get there and they have this guy inside of a can that uh, was on their front lawn. So anyways. Onto the neck. So the first clutch that we had, you guys already saw some of that. We showed some of it going on, one of the eggs. And this is, yeah, maybe. So the first clutch was banana black pewter to, what was it? Uh, Ultramel het pie. So we're each gonna pick one of our favorites out of that, and we're gonna show you. And if, you know what? If you guys have an idea on the ID and you think I'm wrong or you have any input on it, Please throw it at me. I, I'm always up for suggestions or ideas on what it is. Um, so with me right now, I have jelly and jelly is a normal ultra 50% head She's tiny. She's one of the twins that we put on there. She is, hold your hand out for a sec. She is 16 grams and that's a much bigger one. So. We're kind of worried about her. That clutch just finished shedding out, but she didn't. I'm gonna have to soak her later. And the fact that she couldn't shed out on her first uh, first go was sort of worrisome, but I'm gonna help her out and try and give her the best fighting chance we got. So that's Charlie's pick one. So this is uh, Mike Tyson, as I said the name. It is a pastel pet ultra 50 or 50% hat pie. Nice snake, he likes to fight. Yeah, there he sweet. goes. <laughs> right. One more. Give me one more. I don't think he's got another one in him. Don't in place him. No, he's done. I'm trying to get a good one. Oh, there oh, he yeah, goes. Oh, yeah, there you go. I almost got my finger. <laughs> it's a very beautiful snake. That's amazing. He has an attitude, but. His attitude is what makes him. Yeah. Oh, he's still going. <laughs> Very nice snake, very beautiful looking. Nice. Oh. Well, nice looking. Nice, yeah, <laughs> nice looking snake, not a nice snake. All right, so this little guy here is a banana, black pewter, head ultramel, 50% head pie. I really like this one. For one, I love banana. You can say whatever you want about a banana, but it just, it's just a stunning snake. I absolutely love them. And look at the pattern that's brought out from the black pastel. And the pastel also helps that. And the pastel super lightens up the snake. And this one doesn't have an attitude problem like the other one there. This one didn't eat its first time round, so I'll be able to hopefully get her going over the next week. But yeah, that's my pick one for clutch one. Okay, so with me, um, I didn't, we didn't name the snake, but he is 
a ivory pie possibly a D. Now what do you like about him or her? Yeah. Um, I just like the color and well, the pattern on its head. Yeah. It's actually really cool. And there's going to be some yellow splotches that come out on it as it uh, as it starts shed out. You can see some of it. Stay still there, and I'll try and zoom in on it. Can't really see it too much, the yellow, but it hasn't even shed out yet. All the rest of the snakes that you're going to see haven't shed, so you're not going to see what they really look like yet. So this is uh, my pick two for the second clutch. It is a OD yellow belly pied. Now you can't really see like, the full color of them. He is going into shed. But I love it just, there's, I just like snakes that are more white than colored. But I, I, I like the mix, AKA the pied. And the fact that his head kind of has like a normal color to it. it kind of fades going down his neck and the orange. All right, so this is my pick for the second clutch, which was OD Yellow Belly Pied by Yellow Belly Pied. And pretty sure this guy is a Yellow Belly Pied. Uh, super deep in shed, so you can't really see the colors too much. But I love the love the pattern on it, and it's a lower white pied, which I like the low white pied. It's a bit more pattern on it. So, but if you have any idea whether or not you think it's just a normal pied or a Yellow Belly Pied, uh, let me know in the comments. I, I'm interested, and I like ID and these guys can sometimes be difficult. So, but I think yet yellow belly pie and a beautiful one of that. The pattern's just awesome on it. So, for all the next three snakes that we're gonna show you, I haven't ID'd them yet. I've looked at them, but I'm not entirely sure what it is yet. So, you got ideas? Once again, throw them out in the comments. I'm gonna tell you what I think they are right now. Let me know. It's a bird. It's a snake. It's a bird. Oh, you're saying you're not helping ID things. <laughs> you're saying you're not know what it is. You hatch the dang things. It's a snake. These people don't help. Uh, um, with me, I have a fire and she had five. And here he is. Well, my dad thinks he's a fire and she had five. We don't know. What do you like about it? Well, mostly because he looks he looks like Buttercup last time I saw him, I don't know. And oh my god. They're all fast down. And here he is. Beauty snake. And he's on the move. So this is uh my third pick from the third clutch. I do believe it's a OD NG fire. Not too sure. Um, very beautiful snake. From our knowledge, or my knowledge, is healthy weight. Uh, I do like the coloration to them. It's uh, like a lighter pastel kind of color. Uh, kind of goes to like a sandish tan into orange in some spots. Not as nippy as uh, Mike Tyson. But, uh, very beautiful snake. Good size. And good for eating. <laughs> I don't. And this is my pick for my favorite of Clutch 3. And I believe it to be a super orange dream, Enchi Fire Yellow Belly Het Pied. The, like, the color, the light color on it, the orange that I, it, it's just orange and snakes, just pops to me. Then you have all this neat banding, that's Enchi, fire, all the flaming there, yellow belly lightens up even a bit more. The head stamp from the Enchi and the fire there, absolutely love that. But this is absolutely, I so hope this is female. This is probably my favorite snake out of all the clutches right here. Okay, from us at the Snake Chamber, those are our picks. You guys have a good night. Until the next video, like, share, subscribe, spread the love of this round, spread the love of reptiles around. We'll see you all later. Cheers.